Pandurang Shastri Athavale, Papu Pandurangasastri Athavale, the 19th of October 1920 to the 25th of October 2003, also known as Dadaja, Dadaja, which literally translates as grandfather. In Marathi, was an Indian activist philosopher, spiritual leader, social revolutionary and religion reformist, who founded the Swadaya Parivar Swadaya family in 1954. Swadaya is a self-study process based on the Bhagavad Gita which has spread across nearly 100,000 villages in India, with 5 million adherents. He was also noted for his discourses on the Bhagavad Gita, the Vedas and the Upanishads. Early life Pandurang Vinath Athavale was born on 19 October 1920 in Chittapavan Brahman family in the village of Roha in Maharashtra Konkan, India. He was one of five children born to the Sanskrit teacher Vijanath Shastri Athavale and his wife Parvati Athavale. When Athavale was 12 years old, his grandfather set up an independent course of study for the young boy. Thus, Athavale was taught in a system very similar to that of the Tapavan system of ancient India. In 1942, he started to give discourses at the Srimad Bhagavad Gita Pathshala, Madhavbhag, Mumbai, a centre set up by his father in 1926. Athavale read diligently in the Royal Asiatic Library for a period of 14 years. At a young age, he was well known to have read every piece of non fiction literature, ranging from Marx's philosophy to Whitehead's writings to ancient Indian philosophy. In 1954, he attended the Second World Philosophers' Conference, held in Japan. There, Athavale presented the concepts of Vedic ideals and the teachings of the Bhagavad Gita. Many participants were impressed by his ideas but wanted evidence of such ideals being put into practice in India. Nobel Prize-winning physicist Dr. Arthur Holly Compton was particularly enchanted with Athavale's ideas and offered him a lucrative opportunity in the United States, where he could spread his ideas. Athavale politely declined, saying that he had much to accomplish in his native India, where he planned to demonstrate to the world a model community peacefully practicing and spreading Vedic thoughts and the message of the Bhagavad Gita. <laughs> Swadaya Parivar Swadaya Parivar established itself in India in 1978 with adherents meeting every Sunday, where prayers were sung and a video recording of Athavale was played. Swadaya, which closely translate to, in-depth study of the self, is a process based upon Vedic philosophy, and the members of the Parivar are called, Swadayais. Over the years, Athavale's followers have taken the Bhagavad Gita's concepts of inwelling God and God's universal love, to millions of people, transcending caste, socio-economic barriers, and religious differences. Rev. Athavale personally visited tens of thousands of villages on foot and rented bicycles, and his adherents have followed suit to roughly 100,000 villages across India, and at least 34 nations across the globe. In these villages, Rev. Athavale started various experiments prayogs to impart social activism by means of a God-centric devotion, including cooperative farming, fishing and tree planting projects in the spirit of collective, divine labour bhakti, somewhat similar to the Antigonish movement in Canada. Swadayais aim to fulfil Rev. Athavale's vision of eradicating the world's problems by creating a global family united under the principle of a universal bloodmaker. He felt that the universality of the Bhagavad Gita allows for it to a guide to all of humanity. As such, its thoughts should reach unto the last person. Today, the millions of adherents can be found on every habitable continent in over 35 countries including the Caribbean, Americas, Asia, Europe, Australia, New Zealand, Middle East and Africa. It is the Swadaya Parivar's mission to complete Rev. Athavale's vision of a universal brotherhood under the divine fatherhood of God. Death Rev. Athavale died at the age of 83 of cardiac arrest on 25 October 2003, in Mumbai, India. He was cremated on the evening of 26 October at Tatvaniana Vidyapith in the Thane district, where hundreds of thousands of mourners had paid their respects to him over a period of 24 hours. Subsequently, his ashes were immersed at Ujjain, Pushkar, Haridwar, Kurukshetra, Gaya, Jagannath Puri, and lastly at Rameshwaram.
Topic: <laughs> Popular culture. In 1991, Shyam Benegal created and directed the film Antarnad, the Inner Voice, based on Rev. Athavale's Swadaya movements or Prayogs, starring Shabana Azmi and Kulbushan Karbanda, among others. In 2004 Abir Bazaz directed the documentary Swadaya, based on the life and works of Rev. Athavale. Works The Systems, The Way and the Work Swadaya, The Unique Philosophy of Life, by Rev. Shri Pandurang Vinath Athavale Shastri Rev. Dada. Topic Awards and Prize He was awarded the Templeton Prize for Progress in Religion in 1997 and the Ramon Magsaysay Award in 1996 for Community Leadership, along with India's second highest civilian honour, the Padma Vibhushan Award, in 1999.